In the depths of the tomato jungle, this simple, humble people struggle for survival. If the women of the tribe are successful, they will eat well tonight. The plants that they pick, however, will not be so lucky. In this kill or be killed garden, the weak and tasty plants are culled by the voracious herbivore. We see here a youth of the tribe showing her bounty of tomatoes and purslane and curly dock and wood sorrel. No doubt this will be saved as part of her dowry when she is traded away to the neighbors for a lawnmower. Wait, wait, you're, you're talking about us? Your, your wife and your daughter? Well, I, um, well, this is, uh, this is a very rare opportunity we have here <clears throat> to observe in their native habitat the... I'm just teaching her how, how, how to identify plants that you can eat. Oh, all right. Well, well, why don't we get to eating them? Okay. Well, see, here we are, just taking the salad, the lettuce that I bought from the store, because, well, lettuce is out of season here. And the the, the lettuce, absconded with from the store. That oh no, it doesn't work, does it? No, it doesn't. See, and you have to make sure you, know, you get it in the plate. And the tomatoes, which are from the garden, chop them up. And then you add them to the salad. You got the nice little green red contrast going on. Sure, you, sure you don't. You, sure, you don't want to go with the viciously chopped with the flint axe head that was napped no. by the antlers. Of, no. And then we, we add some curly dock. Curly dock kind of tastes like a little bit like spinach, but there's a little bit of tang to it. You can make a whole salad out of it, but you know it's a little strong for me. Uh, then the the wood sorrel. The heart-shaped leaves, also very good. Also has nice little yellow flowers that the kids love to eat. So wood sorrel, little heart-shaped flowers, kind of like uh, yeah. clover. Yes, kind of like clover. And purslane. Purslane's like another big weed in the, the garden, but it's great. It has a tie in good fats, and um, it, it tastes like, well, like your normal green, but it's got a more uh, succulent texture to it. So it's kind of like eating a jade plant. Mm, I would never eat a jade plant, but kind of, yeah. It's kind of squishy like that. Oh, this is my favorite part. This tribe uses secretions from the underbelly of a cow, fermented for months. Yeah, it's called And cheese. salted. This, this strange concoction might seem revolting to you or I, but it is a staple for these, the mine... Sotans. It's called cheese. I personally love cheese, and so do our kids, and uh, so do you. See? You're going to eat that. It's good. That's a large sack of nuts. Yes, those are walnuts. We actually have a couple walnut trees that grow in our backyard. Of course, the squirrels usually beat me to them, but I like to add some nuts or something crunching into a salad. Not a big fan of croutons. See? My favorite salad dressing. Violently, she shakes the salad dressing, <laughs> trying to... I don't know. <laughs> well, it's the the raspberry walnut vinaigrette, which is great, especially with a salad that already has some walnuts in it. And we feed it to the the youth of the tribe. She's really eating it. Yeah, yes, yeah, she is. She she likes that. Uh, how much did you pay her? I didn't pay her a darn nickel, or a penny. <laughs> See, she, th this Good. really does beg for a bit yeah. of narration, though. And as she yeah. destroys the salad, decapitating... Oh, that's it. <laughs> that's it. 